Okay, y'all. I want to explain something here. I want to talk about the black pill analogy that a lot of people on the internet may go by or they look into or they see life a certain way and you know you might go by that doctrine or however people are speaking about it and i'm not saying that i am against that in any kind of way and i'm not for it i'm not against it and i'm not for it but i do understand it i understand it completely and totally and there are things that i absolutely agree with and there's things that it's just kind of too much while you're alive even though i know and i will leave a link in the description to someone that i even watch all the time i listen to this guy all the time about the black pill analogy and what he says i absolutely understand i absolutely understand it i understand when people say that there's no point there's no point in trying it's absurd it's futile it's meaningless and i know that i know that it is i know that i'm fighting for nothing I know that I'm striving for nothing. I know that I'm going to the store to eat just to eat again. I know that all of this work that I do one day, it will be in vain. You know, vanity, vanity, says the preacher. Everything under the sun is meaningless. You know, I read all of these doctrines. I looked into all these doctrines. And here's what I would say to people that go by certain analogies and ideologies and certain doctrines and all these things. If you are someone that believes in that whole doctrine, then you're, you're not seeing that there is both good and bad in those doctrines. There is good and bad in everything. There's good and bad in the Bible. There's good and bad in the Quran. There's good and bad in what every single teacher, every single guru out there, there's some that just have either more things that uh, relate to the human condition or more bullshit and more lies it's just all levels there's levels to everything there's some that tell the truth more than others and there's some that they'll throw truth in with the lies with the bullshit with the do indoctrination with the brainwashing with the conditioning this is what most will do but then they'll say follow what i'm doing because this doctrine is the way now if you are intelligent and you are smart enough you should know for yourself that this is not true and you should not follow these types of people if you actually have the knowledge to understand that for yourself you should know not to follow any doctrine fully you should know not to follow any belief fully because these things you have to realize see most of us we don't even realize that we've been lied to right from the gate with these things in the end these things were all a lie from the gate there's little truths in with what they're doing but most of it is a lie and it's just all a part of the conditioning. It's all a part of the indoctrination and brainwashing of our society and the system and everything else. And most people, they will not see it like that because they don't want to confront themselves. They don't want to see that the problem out there, the things that I am disgusted by, the things that I am sick of, the things that I can't stand in the world, all that is, is me reflecting 
those things onto the world back onto myself. That's all I'm doing. I'm just reflecting those things on other people back onto myself. That's all I'm doing in the end. And I realize when I'm disgusted, I'm disgusted at myself. When I'm sick and tired, I'm sick and tired of myself. When I had enough of something, I had enough of myself, you see? And there's nothing wrong with that. This is what we're gonna be doing the rest of our lives. We're gonna be, you know, saying how this group of people is this, this person is that, this thing is this, you know, this place I can't stand, I don't get along with these people, these people ain't right for me. That's because all that you're doing is you're seeing a reflection in your, your own nature that you don't like. And when you reflect on yourself, you're gonna understand that this whole thing is completely absurd. It's, you're gonna be judging the rest of your life. You're gonna be pointing the finger and talking about others the rest of your life, just like me. And all that I'm doing is talking about myself. That's all I'm doing. And that's okay. I know that I'm gonna have to blab and blab and blab. And this is what the teachings of Buddha and Eastern teachings tell you is that you cannot win this race. You can't do it. Life is suffering. Life is suffering. Desires are suffering. And this is what most of us are doing in this life. We're desiring everything. You know, nobody has a vision anymore for something to actually make some sort of attempt to make a difference in the world while they're here. There's not enough of those type of people, even though they know, even though I know this is absurd, even though I know this is pointless, even though I know it's meaningless, I know that I'm on a wild goose chase and I will never find the golden egg. I've come to terms with that and I'm cool with that. But while I'm alive, I can still make some sort of difference for the upcoming generations because there's something, and I'm not endorsing him, but there's something that Charles Manson said, and I know a lot of people are gonna be like, oh, well, why would you use him? But he said that I went in the gas chamber a long time ago. I'm already dead. I'm doing this for the people that will be here that don't understand what's really going on. That's who I'm doing it for now. I'm doing it for myself too, but you have to understand I'm already dead to all this. I've already gone from them. I've already gone from all this worldly nonsense. The cars, the mansions, the parties and all that stuff. If that would happen and I happen to somehow get involved with whatever, like I had to, like I was doing music and I had to go there in order to get paid because that's where I was doing my music, then fine. But you won't see me in those types of places. You won't see me at a club. You won't see me on TV or news. You won't see me on any popular type of thing out here. You just won't see me on there because they would never have me on there. It would never happen. And I'm cool with that. I'm good with that. Because that's not what I want. I don't care about all the clout. I don't care about all the, you know, trying to get on top of everybody because I see how futile it is. It's completely futile to try to win a battle by fighting anymore. You know, it, people don't understand surrender. They don't understand powerlessness. They don't understand what it means to give up and stop fighting. And then when you do that, when you lose your life, when you lose it all, when everything goes from you, that is when you say, okay, I am dead. I lost everything. 
Now it's time for me to live while I can, but stay away from the bullshit. Stay away from the crowds of people that are fake and phony. There's something George Carlin talks about. He says, I can't stand groups of people, but I love individuals. And that's where I'm at right now. I like listening to individuals when I, if I do see them. Because they'll always tell you something real when you see individuals most of the time. Not all the time, most of the time. People that are in groups, people that are around other people, they will never tell you what they're really thinking. Never. Not too many. Now, maybe very few, very, very few people will tell you what they're actually going through or what they actually want to say or need to say. Very, very few people, far and in between. So that's all I'm saying here. I, I know it didn't sound like this black pill video. And the guy that I'm going to leave a link to, he is considered a black pill channel and I listen to this guy all the time because I can see past that see I can see past his whatever I, I don't I don't even want to say a word because I can't label it but I can see past all of you know whatever I don't agree with or I may not be like I can see past all that and I can see what he's saying in these videos. I understand what he means. You know, right when you were born, you, you basically lost. The game was lost. Now it's, okay, I'm here now, so what do I need to do to stay as healthy as I can so I don't torture myself until I die? Who do I need to stay away from so I don't get myself in trouble. It's basically, you're riding this thing out as safe as possible, but you don't want to be way, way, way too comfortable with yourself. Like it's, that, that see that, that's hard to explain that part because that's the situation I'm in right now. I am, I am way too comfortable where I am and that's not a bad thing and it's not a good thing. It's both. It's a good thing that I'm comfortable. I have, I feel secure. I have stores that I walk to all the time. I go and get my medication. I live where I live. I feel secure. I'm going to the doctors. I'm doing what I need to do while I can. But at the same time, I'm too comfortable here. I'm not really doing anything. I'm just slowly withering away. Even though I know I'm slowly withering away, I'm not doing anything with myself. I'm not really making any kind of difference with anything. And it's like, I want to do some things. It's not that I want to get involved with the bullshit and I want to do all this stuff that I say that I'm not going to do or I'm going to do. It's just... I want to do something. I want to be staying as busy as I can. And that's the way I cope is by staying busy, is by keeping myself distracted from the real harsh realities of this realm and of this world. Now, whether we want to admit that, it doesn't matter because there's going to be so many people that are in denial of how life really is. There's so many that are going to deny their situation and deny what they're going through, why they're going through it, uh, deny just how the world is because they're looking for escape. They're looking for something to escape to. They're looking for something comfortable. But a lot of us are just continually lying to ourselves and then we wonder why we keep having we keep getting stuck in these situations in life because we're lying to ourselves. We're not being real about how brutal and harsh, you know, nature and life can really be and how things can actually get. And we're kind of in this dream world. And I don't want to be in a dream world. I want to be in reality. But yet, those people that are in the dream world, I'm similar to them because I'm looking for something to keep me comfortable, 
to keep me busy, to keep me doing things too. I just don't want to sit somewhere the rest of my life and do nothing and be depressed and feel like shit and all that. I don't want to do that. It's just something that I don't want to do. I don't know what other people want to do, but I don't want to do that. And like last night, I was in one of my moods where I was just angry. I was pissed off. I was disgusted at everything. And I realized I'm disgusted by my own nature. I'm disgusted by the way that this world is, some of this world. Not all of it, though. I'm not disgusted by all of it. I'm disgusted by some of it. And the things that I am disgusted by, the people that I can't stand, and the things that I'm irritated by and agitated with, I realize that that is just me reflecting back on myself. I'm just projecting everything that I'm thinking onto others back to myself. But see, other people, they're just projecting it onto everyone else. They're projecting it to the outside. And nobody ever looks on the inside of themselves while they're, while they're here. And that's why I say there's so many fake and phony plasticky things out here. It's not genuine. It's not really authentic and real. And this is where I get discouraged is because I know that I am real. I know that I am authentic and I am genuine. And when I don't see that in other people, yes, I get discouraged and I get pretty pissed off and I get angry and I get agitated because I say, listen, even though all these things are like that, we don't have to stay stuck where we are. We can still do some things for ourselves, even though we know that it's absurd, even though we know it's futile and all these things. This is not me giving you hope. This is me giving you something to cope with for yourself, you see? I don't believe in all this believe and hope stuff. If anything, I am a cope kind of guy. Cope and then you rope, you're done, you know it, but you first have to cope and get through it as best as you can. And that's all that I'm saying for people out there that might not understand me as a person. I mean, do we really want to just sit around our whole lives miserable, feeling like shit? I mean, if that's somewhere that you like to be and you're not harming anyone else, you can do that. You have every right to do that. You know, good for you if that works for you. If that does something for you, then I can't be against what it is that you want to do because you're going to do what you do regardless and I'm going to do what I do regardless. And it's like, I'm at this point where you got to say, F everybody's opinions, F their views, F their doctrines, F their beliefs, F their everything people have to say about you or what they think about you or what they want you to be, you have to say F all of that. And if that's saying F people, then that's what you have to do. It's nothing for it's nothing against people. It's just saying, look, this is my life. I have to live my life like you have to live your life I'm here and I have to live it plain and simple and there's a lot of people I don't think understand this because they're still projecting all of their stuff onto others instead of themselves and that's all I'm saying here is know that you are a part of the same thing that you are agitated with that you are pissed off with that you are mad at, that you're frustrated with, that you can't stand, that disgusts you. Me and you, we are that thing. We're just projecting onto that thing. That's all. That's all I'm saying. And this is why I say there's so much fake, phony, plasticky shit because everybody will blame everyone else. Everybody else will point the finger at everyone else. And they'll keep saying it's them, they, they. No, they is us. They is everybody. We're all in this, whether we like it or not. We're all in this game of life. None of us can win. None of us are getting anywhere. But do the best you can. That's it. That is the main objective of this life. Is to do what you can when you can do it. And then stay away from the bullshit, stay away from the crowds that cause trouble, and stay away from people that don't understand this about themselves 
because those are the ones that are going to bring you the trouble. Now, why would you want those types of people around you? See, that's what I don't want around me. If there's people that are miserable and down and out and they're having a bad day and they can't stand shit, I don't care as long as they say, yeah, man, I'm just pissed off at the world and myself. And then I'll say, okay, then you get it. You get it. If you're both mad at the world and yourself, you're angry at the world and yourself because you're involved with it too. You're not excluded from this thing. You understand? And that's what I'm trying to get at is that anything that we do, we are not excluded from. It's all of our fault. All, all that goes on in this world, it is all of our fault. Whether we, are, whether we want to admit that or we're in denial, it doesn't matter. Once you have gained the knowledge of everything, history, how men are, sex, building, agriculture, how men and women are, you will realize that you are in this thing too. You're no different from anybody else. This is what we're not understanding. Everyone that I'm seeing out here, all these cars, all these people, I'm no better or worse than any of these people. They're all the same thing. They're all going through life. They go to jobs. They go to work. They can't stand certain things. They can't stand certain people. That's because they can't stand it themselves. And that's okay. That's fine that you can't. That's life. <laughs> you see? I'm not a preacher. I'm not a teacher. I am simply a man that is willing to expose what is real. That's it. So, stay up, stay lowly, and keep resonating. Later.